Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play A Link to the Past! Last time, we got the Titan's Mitt, which lets us lift really, really, really heavy rocks, so let's go put that to use and find some treasure that I... I suppose I could have gotten it before, but, well, I didn't think about it, so there we go. I don't know where every single treasure with rupees are in the game. I know where a lot of them are, but I'm really mostly doing this from memory. I mean, I do have a checklist, but I didn't look up every single detail like that, so. But, I mean, I've got more than enough money to last me for the rest of the game, so. Now that we have the Titan's Mitt, you saw those blocks were really darkly colored. Well, we couldn't have lifted those before, but now we can. So let's pound all these, just because I'm really OCD like that. And apparently, that's a silent chicken. Doesn't even cluck when I hit it with a hammer. But for pounding all those, you can get access to a secret passage. And another piece of power. All right. Oh, I'm surprised I can get my voice that high today. Some days you can do it. Or I can do it. Some days, eh, just doesn't work. I don't know why. But anyway, let's get out of here. Oh, what's going on up here? Nothing! Okay, never mind then. Yeah, someone was asking me, Ichi Bailey, why didn't you get that treasure there before? Well, we couldn't, so we, you need the Titans, man. Okay, how's it going? You, uh, mind taking a coffee break over there? Thanks. Yeah, strange. Whoa, stay away from me, man. How did you only deal that little damage to me? Huh, that's weird. Well, anyway, man, it's taking me two hits to kill the enemies now. If only there were an item that would let me deal more damage to enemies. Okay, how's it going? Oh, really? Remember there was a guy who was saying he lost his partner at some point in time? Well, let's take him back home. Why not? Maybe we'll get a nice little reward. Kind of looks like Kermit, except he's brown. Well, I suppose he does know that it isn't easy being green, so... Let's warp back to the light room. Hey! He looks familiar. Remember we saw a guy who looked just like him before? Let's bring him back home. Yeah, how's it going? Happy days are here again. Yeah, I bet you can tell I can... I know the theme song to Happy Days. Even I can sing off key when I try hard enough, viewers. I don't remember the theme song at all. All I remember about that show is the Fonz. Yeah, how's it going? Ooh! But this is the Master Sword. It couldn't possibly get any stronger than it is already. Sure, why not? Okay. Oh, oh, okay. You can even hold down the B button and as though you have your sword, even though it's not there, and swing at nothing, basically. <laughs> I just find that amusing, so. Anyway, you go off screen, you come back. Let's see if they have it ready already. I know it's already been 10 minutes, or 10 seconds, but. Who knows, maybe they're really fast at this sort of thing. Hey, how's it going? Hey, hey, all right, for rescuing the guy, we get, well, some people call it the tempered sword or the red sword. I call it the bronze sword myself, partially because of what the next sword is called. Spoiler alert, there's a fourth sword in the game. The fourth sword? No, no, I'm not playing that version of the game. Not going to either. But anyway, once you, I think, rescue the guy, this chest is available. So, sure, why not? And it'll always follow you like this until you hit the A button. So, no dashing. But if you walk right over it, it'll come back to you. So let's warp to the light world with that. Get out of the way so I don't warp back. And the bird, if you don't hit the A button, will pick up the chest right with you. So, that's pretty nice. No dashing. Can't dash with the chest around, I'm afraid. Nice little mechanic they threw in there. Uh-oh. How did they see me already? Ha! Yeah! Kill these guys in one shot. Ooh, I could use a heart. There we go. Okay, how's it going? It's a secret to everybody! No. Ha! <laughs> okay, let's, uh... Try that one again. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll keep it a secret. No, no, no problem, buddy. Sure. It's not like I can talk anyway. So, but for bringing it to him, we get the fourth and final magic bottle. All right. 
Now at this point, I'm gonna return to going through the dungeons in a normal order for a little while. Not that you have to. If you really want to get the next sword upgrade, I believe you have to complete the fifth and sixth dungeons only. And I believe that triggers the next event that lets you get the next sword. I'm not gonna go that extreme or overboard. So I think the bronze sword is more than good enough. I heard that the boss of the third dungeon is immune to the fourth sword for some reason, like a glitch or something. I don't know. But anyway. Ha ha! I'm surprised I could block that. Huh. Well, there we go. Let's enter the second dungeon, the Swamp Palace. Uh, what the? I can't get up there! Let's see what's over here. Okay. How's it going? Oh, really? Huh. Maybe we should check it out. Reminds me of another game. Not in this series. No. No. Well, I guess it kind of does, but... It reminds me of another game that I'm playing right now. Well, anyway, what you're supposed to do is go over here and release the Kraken! I mean, the, the floodgates. And let's get that guy out of the way. Ha! I heard that in the Eastern Palace, the first dungeon that we did, the one where we got the room where we got the big key and there were all those fire fairies there, I heard that they're immune to the magic powder. So, even if I had gotten it before, it wouldn't have helped me. Except in, like, those couple other rooms where they had fire fairies, but even then. Ah, there we go. Let's see what this did for us. Ha-ha! There we go. Well, let's check out the Swamp Palace now. Hopefully it's not as hard as the Swamp Palace in Zelda 2! Not that it was really hard, actually. I'm pretty good at Zelda 2. Why do they keep on storing the keys to the doors right next to the door? That doesn't seem like the best security option. Now I heard that your sword beams deal damage equal to whatever your sword power is, minus one. So like my sword beams will de now will deal as much damage as the master sword itself, or the blade itself. I don't know if that's true or not, I'm not a hacker. Well, I am, but not in this game. There's people who are far more obsessive about this game than I am. I mean, hey, I like this Zelda series as much as the next guy, but... Anyway. Ha! Oh, I love being at full hearts. Whoa. Let's see. Usually, if you go up these areas, there's usually something good around here. Like a key! Alright. Hmm. We can't get up there either. We need to find a way to get some water down here. Water! WATER! Room service! I mean, uh... Get these losers out of the way. Hmm, what's that thing? Well, let's check it out. No, no, that's not how it works. You gotta push it over here. There we go. Nice little mechanic they got with the... Floodgates and everything like that. I like it. Fortunately, all the cracks in the walls are easy to see, unlike the first game. Ha! There we go. We don't have to push through invisible walls or, or anything like that. They did that in Zelda 2, also. Invisible walls. Yeah. Well, we'll get to that soon enough, viewers. Get out of my way. <sighs> okay, these guys won't get out of my way. Well, at least the big chest is conveniently located for us. Let's head on down here first. Why not? Ha! Well, stay away from me, man. What are those things, anyway? I don't even know their proper name, let alone a generic name for them. Hmm. Yeah, I can't break those skulls, I'm afraid. Not in this version of the game. Oh well. This is a dead end? Ha ha! Here we get the compass. I do like that they give you the map and compass relatively early in the dungeon. I was playing Ocarina of Time and like one of the dungeons I forget. They give you like the compass or the map or both, I forget. Like at the end of the dungeon practically, and it's like, well gee, thanks a lot! Oh yeah, I forgot. 
we gotta get the key first. Okay, never mind. Um, no, I don't want to deal with this. We'll just tell you to freeze! Ha! Yeah, Stalphosis will be killed by Ether Magic. Now I got my full hearts back. Excellent. Hmm. Can't push these out of the way. If only there were a way we could get past that. Maybe we can with this key here. But can we rescue the Maiden of the Swamp Palace? Or will we have to hook and reel her in? Find out next time on Let's Play A Link to the Past! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!